Uh, hello, my name is uh, Dr. Usman Haq and I'm a dentist with a special interest in implants and uh, endodontics. Uh, I've been qualified for around 14 years and over the past seven to eight years I've been placing implants. Now, um, I found that when I first started placing implants there was a lot of difficulty in making sure that we got all the instruments of highest quality whilst also trying to fit it within budget. So when you qualify you have to get a set of, uh, of motors, uh, duplicate motors, you have to get a set of motor instruments there as well, all of your drapes, make sure everybody's trained up for everything there as well and finally you need to make sure that you've got a set of instruments. Now I work at several different practices and I found that when we're working in several different, several different practices that there may be smaller surgeries and larger surgeries there as well. So you go to a larger surgery, see the setup that is there and all of the hand instruments are laid out very, very nicely, spacing looks very, very good and the setup is very easy to use. But you go to a smaller surgery and you find the instruments are very cluttered. It's very difficult for the nurses to go and make sure that everything not is only looking nice, but also that it's easy for the surgeon to pick up. So I started working with Titan Instruments to create a kit where all of the instruments are within a single cassette, all the hand instruments, and make sure that it's not only easy for the dentist and the surgeon to use, but also so that it's easy for the nurses to arrange and put away and sterilize. So let me introduce you to the WX Surgical Kit itself. Now, um, we've been developing this for quite a long time um, and we've tried to develop it from the outside in, making sure that everything is as easy to use for the dentist and their uh, nursing staff and assistants as possible. So um, if we look at the outside cassette itself, the design of many cassettes there fail on the catch at the front. So um, this is a very simple thing, but we made it designed so that it was a simple push action, which is spring open the cassette and a simple close in order to make sure that everything is all sealed off nicely. This is mainly for the nurses more than the dentists there themselves because it would mean that once this goes into the sterilizing unit, there's no risk of instruments getting floating around and banging against each other, knocking off the coatings that makes these instruments so usable. So now let's actually go to the interior part of the kit there itself. So what I wanted to do is make it so that the flow of the kit was exactly the same as you would have when you were doing a general surgery. So um, when you're doing a surgery there inside the mouth, obviously you're going to inspect the site, then you're going to make your incisions, then you're going to be lifting the flap, then you're later on, if you're placing an implant, place an implant, and then you're going to be suturing the flap there closed. So the kit is designed to flow from the left hand side all the way to the right hand side in order to copy that exact flow that we have when we're doing our surgery. So if we start off towards the left hand side there first, there are three instruments in order to accomplish the inspection. So you have a Explorer probe, a standard Explorer probe, a UNC 15 probe, which is graduated per millimeter for marking out implant positions, and then a mirror. So in the second section, we have two different types of scalpel handle. One of them is a beaver style micro scalpel handle that takes SM69 blades. And the second one being a standard uh, round scalpel handle which takes 15 or 15C blades depending on your preference. So the third section there is the periosteal elevators. Um, and one of my favorite instruments here um, is the curved raspatory. And that's for when you're doing, um, you're doing healed ridges uh, where there is our uh, edentulous spaces and you're wanting to lift up the flap in a very natural motion. You, the curved instrument fits directly underneath your split thickness or full thickness flap um, and a very simple motion allows you to elevate it uh, without too much difficulty. Uh, the next instrument that I placed in the kit um, was the Zingheim. Now the Zingheim is used for uh, creating full and split thickness flaps, also along healed ridges there as well. Um, and it allows you to curve the instrument in order to allow both sides of the flap to be uh, lifted up in a very natural motion. Uh, the third instrument that I choose, chose here was the Malt. Now uh, a Malt has two different sides there to it. Um, it has a pointed side and a more flatter, broader side. The pointed side there is for lifting up the papillae and on the same instrument you can turn it round and then reflect those papillae back. So this is what you use for the majority of all surgery cases. 
the next instrument is a similar instrument to the Malt, but for much more microsurgery. And this is the Boozer, which also has a pointed arrowhead for lifting up the papilla, and the second end, uh, which is flatter and broader for reflection. So now we go on to the uh, other section of instruments, uh, which is for cleaning and debridement of the site. And there are three instruments here. One of them is a uh, Mitchell's trimmer, which has two ends there to it, a sharp curved end for curatage, um, and a more kind of um, angled end there for removing spicules of bone. Then we have a Lucas curette and a straight excavator. And this is for removing soft tissue from inside the socket. When we move on to the final section, uh, this is where we're closing up the site. And there are several instruments in order to achieve this. Firstly, for holding the tissues, we have tooth and non-tooth forceps, depending on your preference and application. Um, we, have a, um, we have scissors for the sutures, and we also have two uh, suture holders there. Now, the reason why I placed two in this kit, and it may seem strange that why are there two of the exact same instrument, is because when you start to get experienced in this and you're working with an experienced team, um, there are some areas of the mouth that are difficult to get to. And when you're placing your suture into that area, if you're working as a team, you can use the other suture holder um, with the other surgeon, can pick it up as it's passing through the tissue and then pass it back there to you. And it makes your um, suturing much, much quicker. So all of these instruments are arranged within the kit and then can be placed back in these exact same positions so that when the next time you are doing surgery or somebody else in the practice or surgery is doing it, they can open the kit and it's exactly the same flow every single time and there is no real thought process that is required for the uh, nurses or assistants um, in the way to arrange the instrumentation. Um, also, all the instrumentation fits within certain slots to make sure that there's less likelihood of instruments banging against each other, knocking the coatings off, which are very important for when we're working in certain sites, um, and also that um, instruments don't get mixed up with other general instruments that may be there when they're doing disinfection and sterilization. So if we have a closer look at the handles there themselves, a lot of instruments, even very high-end, expensive instruments, have handles that are not only not ergonomic, but are also heavy um, and dig into the hand there quite a lot. And I found with some instrument sets that I bought, they have these very kind of grooved, serrated edges, which are designed to improve grip. But when you're using them for a long period of time, you can feel it digging into your hand. So we went through a number of different designs in terms of handles and settled amongst this one, which I have found to be absolutely fantastic. We have a textured edge towards the front, which your fingers fit into in order to improve the grip, and a textured edge towards the back, so it allows the instrument there itself to hold into the groove of the hand here in order to improve grip further backwards so you don't get the slippage of the instrument. Um, at the same time, the handle itself is weighted in a certain way that um, it means that it doesn't feel too lightweight and flimsy in the hand, but also at the same time, um, it's lightweight enough for longer procedures that you won't get tiredness. So if you'd like more information about Titan Instruments products, you can use the contact details there down below to contact us and one of the members of our specialist team will get back to you.